Recently, I've become intrigued by a different way of thinking of large human crowds, because there are circumstances where they can do something really cool. It's a phenomenon that I think any organization uh, or individual can tap into. It certainly impacted the way we think about TED's future and perhaps the world's future overall. And that's why, you know, what I'm excited about, or what I think is underreported, is the significance of the rise of online video. This is the technology that's going to allow the rest of the world's talents to be shared digitally, thereby launching a whole new cycle of crowd-accelerated innovation. The first few years of the web were pretty much video-free. For this reason, video files are huge. The web couldn't handle them. But in the last 10 years, bandwidth has exploded a hundredfold. Suddenly, here we are. Humanity watches 80 million hours of YouTube every day. Cisco actually estimates that within four years, more than 90% of the web's data will be video. Incredibly, all of this can be communicated on just a few square inches of a screen. Reading and writing are actually relatively recent inventions. Face-to-face -face communication has been fine-tuned by millions of years of evolution. That's what's made it into this mysterious, powerful thing it is. Someone speaks, there's resonance in all these receding brains, the whole group acts together. I mean, this is the connective tissue of the human superorganism in action. It's probably driven our culture for millennia. Now, in the blink of an eye, the game has changed again. It's not too much to say that what Gutenberg did for writing, online video can now do for face-to-face -face communication. So that primal medium, which your brain is exquisitely wired for, that just went global. Shh.